so we set out to create a multi-specialty uh, neurosciences program. And so some of those specialties include epilepsy, uh, headache, neurodevelopmental medicine, autism, neurogenetics and rare disease, and then of course just general neurology. Our specialists have a variety of tools to help them uh, to provide the highest possible care to children in the area. So some of those um, uh, include really high level imaging tools. We have um, two, three Tesla MRIs on our campus, which provide um, some of the highest level uh, anatomical uh, brain and spine detail uh, on uh, our, our kids. A, a really advanced next generation uh, imaging technology called magnetoencephalography, or MEG. The magnetic encephalogram, or MEG as it's known, is a state-of-the-art device that has come new to the market, which helps us look at the brain uh, waves and the brain activity through a different lens. Patients will have a cap full of sensors, and these sensors help pick up these electromagnetic waves and help map different parts of the brain. If we look at certain parts of the brain that are generating abnormal activity, the MEG can also pick up these parts where there would be abnormal connectivity or abnormal ways in which the brain is talking to uh, one another. So this helps come into play when uh, we have diagnostic uncertainty, for instance, about which part of the brain is generating the seizure focus or which part of the brain has abnormal brain activity. So we resort to the MEG that can help answer that question. The good thing to know about Voice Sound is that Voice Sound is the only place in the United States with two MEG machines. Most places do not have it or even only have one machine, but here we have two machines. In neurosurgery, we like to be extremely precise because there's not a lot of wiggle room for imprecision. Um, the areas that we work in are super important to who the person is, their strength, their sensation, their memories, so we really want to be as accurate as we can. This robot really allows us to pinpoint within a millimeter or under a millimeter the exact location that we want to go. The robot we mostly use for epilepsy surgery, placing um, it's called stereotactic depth electrodes. They're teeny little wires um, that we can use the robot for to place ex exactly where we want to um, be in the brain. We also can use it for biopsies of abnormalities in the brain. Um, and we can use it to treat epilepsy as well through laser ablation. There's a lot of commitment when it comes to treating a child with neurologic dis disease. And so uh, what we want to do is we want to create a safe, welcoming environment for our parents and our children uh, and we want to give our doctors the tools uh, and the room they need to provide the highest level care they can. We hope to continue to grow, to be a beacon of uh, really high level specialized neuroscience care that uh, is an important referral destination for children and families, not only in the area, but hopefully regionally and eventually nationally.